Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 18th, and I first of all want to talk about yesterday's video just a little bit here. There was something going on with the server, and apparently that release got delayed since last night, but usually I will put these videos out in the morning hours here. So anyway, let's go ahead and scroll through yesterday because we had some pretty active weather there across Northern California. If I put that into motion, you can see the thunderstorm activity there kicking off. In fact, let me overlay the lightning strikes on there as well. You can see we had quite a few lightning strikes there across some of the Eureka National Weather Service Zone and Medford, and there's the California-Oregon border. And if we continue to push off there, you can see some of that activity that went on through the afternoon hours. It looks just off to the north and west of some of the valley areas, Redding and Red Bluff. You might actually heard some thunder there. Let me know if you guys were out and about and saw some of those storms storms and then we went through into the afternoon hours and the evening hours and that activity pushed off across uh, Oregon and then on into Washington shown there and if we scroll through uh, the additional uh, time frame after midnight you can see some additional thunderstorm activity there across portions of Arizona and, and no thunderstorm activity there as far as I could tell across California otherwise than, than other than that storm system there that pushed into the Pacific Northwest so taking a look at today uh, generally thunderstorm free free you can see a little bit of it this activity gets right near the border and right near Las Vegas as well Phoenix is here and there is a marginal risk for some wind here across some portions of extreme eastern Nevada down towards northwest Arizona. This would be for tomorrow, day two. It does clip Las Vegas there and just comes towards the California Arizona border here. And this would be day through, three again, just off to the, uh, the east there of the California border. So looking at some fire danger, we do have some elevated danger there across my Northeast California and some portions of Nevada. Just a heads up for that. And this probably could be extended across some other areas of the state as well. It is just that time of year. Let's not give Mother Nature any help in starting some of these fires because we're doing pretty well overall right now. So if we look at the European, this is hot off the press of the 12Z. Let me update that because no doubt there's new data coming in. But as we go through the day today, you can see a little bit of that activity trying to get towards the California border here. But then we kind of do something similar again on Monday and then here goes Tuesday you can see that activity kind of keeping off to uh, the east a little bit there then maybe somewhat of a surge starts to roll in here as we go through Wednesday and Thursday stays off the, uh, the east again a bit there but taking a look today at the composite reflectivity again you can see that thunderstorm activity on the North American models not showing much of that activity getting towards the California border it stays out over Arizona and Utah and again tomorrow as well we'll scroll through Tuesday take one more look here you can see the peninsula range down across Baja does trigger a couple which could produce some lightning there now looking at the extended forecast because things uh, start to look a bit interesting here as we look out this is currently we've got the upper level low that's what kicked off the thunderstorms across northern, Cal northern california yesterday across oregon washington and the british columbia so that weakens at upper level low kind of lifts through the area here as we go through wednesday but look at the one that replaces it wants to drop pretty far south on the latest gfs i mean look at that we could even be talking about some rainfall here from this storm uh, across some of the central california the bay area maybe the sacramento valley as well so we'll be watching that one closely because that's a pretty interesting looking system there you can also see the tropical systems out down across the tropics as well those look to stay um, uh, fairly safely away from the southwest usa we're not looking at any kind of tropical moisture infusion here at least as of right now now taking a look at the gfs what would that mean here so this is just a really brief look this is still just a fantasy forecast but as we go on into the week coming up here you'll see the system start to drop down here it goes and you can see some of that precipitation moving across some of the bay area there and some of the sacramento valley there and towards the sierra nevada and you know lake tahoe's right there so something interesting to look forward to but you got to really take this with a grain of salt if it, you know that trough weakens at all it's going to really reduce any kind of impacts that the storm will have other than trying to suppress the temperatures across the region so if we look at the european ensemble this goes out about 144 hours we're going to scroll through here and you can see that system dropping down probably not quite as progressive down the coastline here as what the you know, the gfs is showing but this could bring some impacts and it's definitely better than a huge dominating ridge across the southwest usa and that goes all the way through next friday night taking a look at that two meter temperature anomaly this is a 10 day period here so if we scroll through here, you can clearly see a lot of the area slightly below average some of the coastal areas of southern california where there is a lot of people you're dealing with some slightly above average temperatures but you can see central and northern california sierra nevada and much of nevada oregon up towards washington below normal here through the next 10 days or so
taking a look at 7E has developed tropical depression. 7E also got a few else uh, storms off to the west there as well, but not too big of a deal. Again, these are staying mainly out over the open ocean. No threat to the southwest USA in the weather models, at least as of right now. And you can kind of see that on the GFS this morning. You'll see some of these systems spinning and kind of moving off to the west, perhaps bringing slugs of moisture out towards the Hawaiian Islands. But again, we're not looking at any kind of tropical system moving up towards Baja or to, towards the southwest USA or any of its remnant moisture, at least as of right now. Six to 10 day temperature outlook below normal across a lot of the west coast. So that's good news here. This goes through August 27th. But then we get kind of a flip as we go through the 8 to 14. I'm going to show you that here in a minute. And you can see the above average here. Maybe that next system will bring some measurable precinct. Up. Cross your fingers for that, but don't get too caught up in that just yet. It's still a fantasy forecast. However, here's the 8 to 14 day, and you can see virtually every single location in the lower 48, they've got above average here. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if the ridge starts to redevelop here or if we can warm things up as we go towards the end of the month. And this is the 8 to 14 day. If you notice a little bit of a sliver there right along the West Coast, not even any need to worry about that right now. So if we look at the 16Z, <coughs> excuse me, her, this is surface smoke. And we're going to take a look at what fire this may be here because that looks like it's kind of flaring up today. It's actually a fire right on the coastal regions here too as well. So if we take a look at that, I don't know if that's the coffee pot fire. It looks like it's still growing, but it does show up flaring up pretty dramatically also. And if we take a look at this one, it looks like it's the Cypress fire, you know, not too far from Highway 1 here. And you can see, you know, San Luis Obispo off to the south there. So yeah. If you're wondering where that smoke's coming from, it's probably one of these two fires right now. Not doing too bad across the rest of the state as far as fires are concerned. And we do have some of this um, dry and windy conditions here across some of the state as well. So just kind of keep your wits about you. Yeah, it's still that time of year where if you're throwing cigarette butts out your window or dragging chains and stuff like that or parking on dry grass, um, we can still cause some fires, of course. But anyway, let's take a look at this really quick because I want to look at, we're going to go to a drought monitor here. <clears throat> And we're actually going to take a look at the most recent current because I, I believe we do have an updated map here. And we do. And I'm going to click on the west. Some more drought introduced across portions of Washington. But it looks like much of the state of California is still in a no drought intensity right now. Just some abnormally dry and some moderate for extreme northern portions here. So relatively speaking, we're doing quite well. Even across portions of Arizona and Utah, looking quite nice here across a lot of the southwest. And Nevada, mostly drought free also. But yeah. Oh, fun storms there uh, yesterday across Northern California, and we had a pretty good show here up across the Pacific Northwest yesterday. Got a bunch of lightning strikes from that. I'm also going to leave the latest La Nina video or the ENSO conditions and what we're looking at. I'll leave it on the bottom left here. I did that a couple days ago, so it's showing you what we can expect across the equatorial Pacific and how that might affect things here on the West Coast of North America. I'll be doing those uh, updates monthly, and they update probably at somewhere around the mid portion of the month. So the next one will be coming in September. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. Otherwise, click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys then.